It's a huge loss for the film community in Denver. It's been such a part of the fabric of the entire city, of the Capitol Hill neighborhood. Uh, it's been a place where you can see movies that you don't get to see um, every day. News of the landmark Esquire theaters likely closing is hitting hard for many around Denver. For decades, the historic theater drew in movie lovers like Vincent Pituro. Seeing these wonderful movies that you couldn't see anywhere else, seeing them on the big screen, seeing them in the dark, uh, that magic of the movie theater, that really, really inspired me. Now a professor of film at MSU Denver, Pituro says the Esquire's impact on him and others around the city is immeasurable. Um, you can't duplicate that experience, and when you lose a theater like the Esquire, you really lose a lot. The Esquire has drawn in crowds to Cap Hill since 1927. Bought out by Landmark in 1980, they sold the building in 2021 but still operate the Esquire. Now, nearly a century after it opened, the current building owners at LoopNet have sent plans to the city to redevelop the property. LoopNet's listing says the Esquire's current lease expires next July, with no renewal option for the theater. Their proposal would turn the historic theater into retail, dining, and office space. Tough news for film lovers to swallow. It's a cultural icon. It's a aesthetic icon. It's beautiful. How's that wonderful logo? Vittoro says venues like the Esquire see beyond the blockbuster, bringing in independent films that often go unseen. Those theaters are dwindling, and our choices are few. The Esquire was one of those great choices. It's going to leave a hole in the city. He says it's critical that they fight for and just show up for the independent theaters we have left. What we have to do is support the theaters we do have, and I think that's the most important thing we could do. The city's planning and development office say they got plans on the development at the end of October and plans for the property have not yet been fully reviewed or approved. I reached out to Sam Ledger, one of the building's owners, about their plans to close down the Esquire. They declined to comment. This is such a great theater that so many people have loved for decades, as you showed in your stories. This really is a hard hit to the film lovers. Yeah. All right, Rachel, thanks.